Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to come on real quick to discuss something. It's morning, so that's why I'm talking a little low. It's everybody's still asleep. So the other day, I had the pleasure of interviewing indie author S.G. Minet, and she was discussing her story and how when she got to the end, she didn't have an end. So she decided to go back and edit. I know that's frowned upon. Um, I, I read that's frowned upon. I personally don't see anything wrong with it. And this is a good example of why it's not a bad idea to edit before your story is finished. Because Suzanne S.G. Minet did not have her ending. So while she got to think about the ending, where the story was going to go, where the characters, you know, were going to end up. She also got to refresh herself of, with the story because, you know, we get so wrapped up with the story itself and the middle and the end. Sometimes there's things that we write and maybe we forgot about it. Things that happen in the beginning of the story, but we get so swept away that we forget. So in this instance, as Suzanne went back to edit, ending came to her and she was able to finish the story. Now, I, I find that to be magic. And that's also what I said in the interview. It's similar to uh, if you do puzzles and you've got, you know, you have this clump of the puzzle done and it's expanding and it's, you know, getting bigger and bigger. But over here you have this piece and you don't know where it goes, you don't know where it fits in, and then the puzzle just gets bigger and bigger, and then one day, it connects, the piece goes right in. And what for anyone who does a puzzle, you know what an awesome, amazing feeling that is. So if you're writing a story, and you don't know what's gonna happen, and all of a sudden, it comes to you, the the characters tell you, the, the, the the story begins to write itself. And that's why I like to call it magic. Because when it happens, you know, you may feel like you didn't even have any control over it because it just suddenly came to you because the story wrote itself. Sure, you wrote it in the beginning. You had your pen, you were typing, but you just didn't know what that final piece was going to be. So as you constructed that story and put that story together, it was so strong and the characters, you were, you were, you were so connected with them that they told you what was going to happen. So they helped you out. And that's what I like to call magic. So I hope you have some magic.